In this video, we can figure our Entra ID tenant to send log data to Log Analytics. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we create a new Log Analytics workspace and configure Entra ID to send log data to that workspace. Before that, please like, subscribe, click the bell icon for notifications of new content and share with a friend. That helps grow this channel and is greatly appreciated. Check out my courses on hybrid identities with Windows ID and Entra ID, Azure Virtual Desktop, and Windows 365 with Intune Management at udemy.com. The links are below. And thank you channel members, your support is appreciated. Back to it, we can view sign-in, audit, provisioning, and other logs in Entra ID through the portal. But we may need to send that log data to another platform like Log Analytics. By sending the Entra ID logs to Log Analytics, we can do additional searching and reporting on that data or export the data to another logging platform. We can also extend the retention beyond the 30-day limit set by the Entra ID portal. I'm doing this video because I was working on another video about configuring conditional access policies and noticed I didn't have logging enabled on my tenant. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notify button to know when that video comes out. Coming up, we're going to configure Entra ID to send logging data to a Log Analytics workspace. If you want to follow along, there are a couple prerequisites. An Entra ID P1 or P2 license is required to send log data. Also, the account used to configure Entra ID logging has to be a global admin or a security admin. And we'll need a Log Analytics workspace. We'll create one in this video, but you can use an existing workspace if you have one. Keep in mind that log retention is set at the workspace. Log Analytics is billed by the data collected and how long it's retained. You can spread your data across multiple workspaces with different retention periods as a strategy to save money. Coming up, we're going to create a new Log Analytics workspace, then configure Entra ID to send that data to the workspace. After that, we'll search the workspace to verify data is getting collected. Let's jump into the Azure portal to get started. Here we are in the Azure portal. We'll start by creating a Log Analytics workspace. You can skip this step if you already have one. Let's go to Log Analytics. Create a new workspace. Select your subscription and resource group, or you can create a new resource group if you don't have one. We'll create a new one for this example with the name Entra ID WSRG. Give the workspace a name, Entra ID LAWS for this example. Set the region. This example will use Central US. Go next to tags. Add tags as needed and go to review and create. Once validation passes, click create. This will take a minute to finish. I'll pause here and come back once it's done. That finished. Let's set the data retention next. We'll go to the Log Analytics resource. Go to Usage and Estimated Cost. We can get cost information from Usage and Estimated Cost. Once data is collected, we get a breakdown in the usage chart. This workspace is empty, so we don't have anything to display. Go to Data Retention. From here, we can modify how long the data is retained. Keep in mind, we pay for the amount of data collected and how long it's stored. The first 31 days of data retention is free. This example will set the data retention to 60 days. Once that's set, click OK. That sets the data retention in the workspace. Now we can send Enter ID diagnostic information to the Log Analytics workspace. Go to Enter ID. From here, go to Diagnostic Settings under Monitoring. We have no diagnostic settings set up. To get that configured, we'll select Add Diagnostic Settings. We could create multiple settings configurations. Maybe we want to send some data to Log Analytics and other data to a partner solution. We'll give this setting the name Log Analytics.
Next, we need to select the event logs we're going to send to the workspace. What you select depends on what you need to collect. For this example, we'll select audit logs, the next few sign-in logs, provisioning logs, risky user and user risk events. Once the log categories are selected, check the box Send to Log Analytics Workspace. Select the subscription of the workspace and the workspace we're sending the data to, the one we just created for this example. Once that's configured, we can click Save. We'll go back to Diagnostic Settings. And now our diagnostic settings are showing. We can modify the settings if we need to by going into Edit Settings. Matter of fact, I think I missed one of the sign-in logs. Let's go to Edit and select the sign-in log that I skipped. We'll save and we can go back to Diagnostic Settings. We're going to do a simple search next, just enough to verify logins are working. Advanced KQL queries are out of scope for this video. We need to create login data before we can search the logs. If you're in a lab like me, pause here and log into Azure or other applications to generate some data. Once you've generated some data, go to the Log Analytics workspace we're sending the data to. We can do that by going to Enter ID and Log Analytics under Monitoring. We'll start by doing a search for everything. You may want to skip this for workspaces with data. It will return all data in that workspace. We'll type search space asterisk. You can click run or shift enter to run the command. That command returns some data, that's a good sign. Next, let's just search the sign in table. If we start typing sign in, we can select the sign in logs table. And from here, I'll backspace to get rid of the pipe command and simply hit run. That returns all data from the sign in logs table. We have some sign in data. That's good. Next, let's search for a user in the non interactive user sign on table. This query specifies a table, then looks for conditions where the user display name contains test1. We can scroll to the right to find user display name, or we can click the greater than sign. That gives us a horizontal display of the record. And we'll go down to user display name, And there is our user display name for test one. That is how to create a log analytics workspace, configure logging, and verify logging data is getting sent to the workspace. That is how to configure Enter ID logging to log analytics and search the logs. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.